to the boys. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, I fucked. Good morning guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So um, right now, just about to go ship some more orders out. You guys have been awesome. Um, I think I got around 30-ish, 35, I think 35 stickers left. So if you want to go pick one up and help support the channel, that would be amazing. Link will be in the description or it will be here on screen. It is chrisadowski.bigcartel.com. Um, yeah, five bucks, two bucks shipped. So yeah, I'm gonna go drop these off quick. Uh, so yeah, so on today's agenda not really much going on again Like I said, I'm broke right now waiting for payday next week uh, the other day. I painted the lip on the Integra so Looks much better So next up uh, I still have the clutch issue going on not clutch but the slave cylinder issue where it's squeaking um, I'm thinking that the clutch is not adjusted properly because when I did the cable to hydro conversion um, Robert from hush performance helped me out and he set the clutch grab up where he likes it Which is way up top and I don't like it there personally. It's just my preference and um, I'm thinking maybe the clutch is almost just a little bit engaged all the time or just enough pressure on the pedal because of the engagement point or whatever that it is pushing the slave cylinder out just a hair just enough to touch the uh, the fork so gonna try and adjust that whether it fixes it or not I need to adjust the clutch I don't like where it grabs so uh, and then tonight if I can get my ECU back from Brian because we swapped ECUs just try and trace down my issue found out it's a wiring issue we just gotta fix it now um, but yeah so try and get my ECU back um, so he can have his and then I may be getting not, I mean, I'm not getting it tuned, but I'm gonna be getting my base map adjusted. Uh, I've got a buddy, he's part of the Del Sol group out here. He's got his own built GSR in his Del Sol, tuned by himself, he's tuned a bunch of buddies' cars, so. Like I said, just gonna have him adjust my base map a little bit, set me up with a rev limiter, because I've take i taken the car up to eight grand, that's where it's supposed to be, but I never hit the limiter. So, I just want him to check it out, be on the safe side, till I can get the money to actually get the tune. So, I don't know why my hand's been up here this whole time, so, um, yeah, so let's just go get, uh, go head over to the post office, and, um, yeah, not looking forward to sitting under this dash for a while, because there's no room, and I don't want to drop the pedal assembly. Well, I mean, let's get to it. Let's get to the let's get the day started. And I still got to change out the uh, driver door handle on the Del Sol, but that won't be in for another week, so or until middle of this week. So here I sit, stuck, having to uh, crawl in here and open it myself every time I want to get in my car. Very annoying. So tedious. You know, it's a good thing it didn't rain last night because I just realized I left my window down, my rear window. Stupid me. All right, the uh, envelopes, whatever. They're, they're, they're mailed out, whatever you want to call them. And then I just called Brian. He's going to try and get a hold of Carter, uh, see if Carter's going to be coming up to the little uh, second Jimmy tonight and can bring that ECU for me so then I can just uh, chance to the base map then, and then we can try and tweak the tune a little bit. And uh, just went and got some coffee too. So now I'm just making my way back home. But on today's list of new hot hits, new music, something, whatever, that was kind of lame, but yeah. New music for the day, Real Friends, another one of my very, very well-liked bands. They just released a new album called Composure. You guys should go check it out. So, uh, yeah, go enjoy some happy-go-lucky sad boy music, all right? So I've added on to today's agenda to vacuum out the Del Sol and to take the top off, try and pull the plastics off and see if I can't try and figure out how to fix this rattle a little bit. I read it somewhere that somebody used some vacuum line around the uh, little pins or whatever you want to call them that are like when you close the handle or whatever that latch the hood shut. So maybe I can try and put some vacuum hose around that or something to try and like suppress the rattle because it's so obnoxious. 
<sighs> but yeah, now I'm gonna pop the seat out of the Integra and crawl up under the dash and see if I can't try and do this clutch pedal thing. Um, wish me luck, here we go. So I was just under the dash. Holy crap, it is hot under there first off. And second off, yeah, there's no adjusting that uh, clutch with the pedal assembly in the car. And I'm pretty sure to get all that out, I don't know. Getting the pedal assembly in with the dash out in the first place was hell. So I already know I'm gonna have to take the dash back out. Or I'm assuming I'm gonna have to take the dash back out. Um, but either way, I have to take the pedal assembly out of the car to get this pin. The little pin that holds the little fork piece to the the push rod for the clutch like mechanism. Um, it's just, I don't know if it's something that's on the design of the cable to hydro conversion, like the bracket, or if it's just backing out against the pedal assembly itself, but I have to have it out of the car to get that pin out and then I can spin the uh, rod up. So very extremely stupidly frustrating, but um, I'm gonna just call it on that piece for now and then I'm gonna just try and find some sort of rubber sleeve or something I can throw over the clutch fork hopefully that'll stop the rattling on the um, the slave cylinder itself because that's driving me crazy and then I also gotta adjust my valve cover gasket because the last time I took the uh, valve cover off on the Del Sol I guess it didn't seat right so I gotta fix that quick once I get back and then hop onto the target top um, but also here is some footage, it's nighttime so it's hard to see, but here's some footage from the toge run we had last night. There was like six of us, uh, Dylan included, and it was super sick, so here it is.
I got the uh, slave cylinder taken off and I got this piece off. So I cleaned it up and now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just grind the end piece off like just a little bit, just shorten it down just a hair, just enough so that way it is not uh, making contact with the clutch fork, like rubbing against it. Cause I don't know, maybe it's just because it's an aftermarket like O'Reilly's slave cylinder. Um, I was looking on RSX forums, obviously since I have an RSX engine, and a lot of people actually have this issue with their slave cylinder. So yeah, I'm gonna just try and grind this down really quick on the grinder, just like a millimeter, and uh, put it back together and see if that fixes it. Hopefully, because like I said, it's like the most obnoxious thing in the world, having my car, like if I'm outside my car standing, it's just like, D -d 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 -d. it's so obnoxious. All right, so it's shortened down literally just, I don't know, literally probably a millimeter. So slap this on quick, fire it up, and uh, see if it still chirps. If, if it does, I'll grind it down a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we should be good. Right, so I got plenty of high temp brake grease on here too, so this should really help it. All right, well, let's give it a test now and see if it squeaks. Still a little bit. So I think we gotta trim it down just a little bit more. So after a little bit of playing around with it, it seems to have stopped for now, but I'm sure with my luck, it'll it'll start right back up again here in like 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it stays away. So um, I guess fixed onto the next issue, but only issue is now I think I'm gonna have to, I don't know, maybe pull the Integra outside, pull the Del Sol into the tarp. And, uh, take the target top inside and disassemble it because it looks like it's about to rain. So, um, could be an issue, but uh, I'll give it a few minutes and see if the storm rolls overhead more, if it gets darker, um, and I'll kind of decide what I gotta do from there. But, um, yeah, making progress, I guess. I also want to give a quick thank you to everybody that's actually got their stickers so far. I've been tagged in a few Instagram posts or photos or messages today uh, that you guys got your stickers, and I'm super stoked that you guys are stoked on them because they, I'm, I thought they looked really good, and I'm loving the feedback from you guys. Uh, so far, you guys think they're great quality. It's starting to squeak again. Lovely. All right, so well, on a better note, I think I found my uh, target top rattle, so this should be it right here. When you, um, on this piece right here, when you go to close the roof, this seal comes out with it. And then it's left sitting like that, rattling around on bumps. And it's supposed to be pushed in there like that. And uh, all the other seals are still in place, like none of them pop out. Like this one's still in there. So, um, yeah, I just gotta like glue that down or something. And we should be good to go. It's been a couple hours now, and uh, obviously it's much later in the evening. I'm gonna head over to the second gen's meet right now, and uh, I got my laptop and stuff with me, so hopefully Evan's there, and Carter's supposed to be bringing my ECU by so he can take his ECU back, and uh, then we can actually get into uh, the ECU and adjust the base map, and uh, hopefully it goes well, um, but yeah, hopefully more people show up than just like three, uh, like is usually there, but Anyways, uh, bringing you guys along, hopefully uh, just get something enjoyable, if not kind of uh, take this into tomorrow or something, I guess we'll find out. Elena sat up on her own today. Seen this many DAs. Yeah, I haven't seen years. this many DAs.
days since I've been coming out. So um, pretty good meeting tonight, except for Evan didn't show up and I wanted him to show up so we could do my ECU, but it's okay. Cause yeah. Carter forgot the ECU anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's just chilling. We're hanging out. It's extremely hot out though, being that it is Arizona. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just wrap this up here and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in the morning and we can try and find a way to end this video. I'd make it a really awkward, you know what I mean? Situation. Oh, this is real awkward, but hey, how are you guys doing out there? <laughs> Love this channel. If you don't follow it, you need to get out. Well, if they're watching, they probably. Oh, yes, sir. He made me get back in the DAs. Good man, right here, okay? He almost ruined it for us last week because he was hitting two step as soon as he pulled in the lot. Do it again or what? You guys tell us. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> okay, so sometimes. I know I can be really naive or stupid when it comes to doing my own car stuff. I, did, I by no means claim to be a professional, um, but now I feel really dumb because I just adjusted my clutch. I finally figured out how to do it. I figured out that when I did my cable to hydro conversion with the K-Swap, I had Robert, who uh, owns Hush Performance, had him help me assemble it all and set the clutch there, and I remembered he taught me how to adjust it. So I just had to go back, watch my own video, and I figured it out. So essentially, there's just uh, on the pedal assembly that for the bolt that holds the pedal like adjustment itself. I forget that there's a jam nut and an Allen head. You just loosen the Allen head, adjust the jam nut. That controls where the pedal stops. And then I just forgot that you can, uh, the push rod for the clutch slave or the clutch master in general. I didn't know that you could just turn that by hand. I, I guess I totally forgot. So yeah, I just undid the jam nut and then turned the push rod. And now it's grabbing a little below the middle instead of at the very tip top, which is right where I want it, like right in the middle-ish. But unfortunately it did not get rid of my squeaking. So as for the squeaking, I really just don't know what else to do. I've tried lubing it. I tried grinding it down a millimeter. I tried lubing it even more, tried lubing the inside, um, tried sticking, like wrapping it in a rubber glove to see if that's like dampen it. Nothing's helping. So um, maybe next, I don't, I don't want to just toss parts at it. My slave is under a lifetime warranty, so maybe I could do that. But there's got to be an alternative around this. Maybe I'll just try sticking some foam there because I've got some like door ceiling foam stuff. I can just take a little square patch of it and uh, slap it in the fork. Uh, I know it's not my throttle bearing I, before anybody comments that because you can literally just watch it vibrate off the clutch fork, the, uh, the slave, like the tip of the slave, and it's all scuffed up like it's been vibrating on it. So. <sighs> at least I got the clutch adjusted. I'm stoked on that. But before I end this video, I, I forgot that I was going to do like a review of your guys' cars. Like I, I had a few guys message me on Instagram saying that you wanted to be a part of that. So uh, I'm going to go inside where it's nicer. And I'm going to bring it up on my phone here, see if I can get that on the screen here. And uh, we'll kind of look over the pictures and kind of give my, uh, my honest opinion on you guys' cars. And uh, then we can close the video up from there. All right, so let's, let's uh, open up Instagram and uh, go over, check our messages. So uh, these two I saved because they sent photos in like a PM or a DM type thing instead of just actual photos. So uh, let's start off with Benjamin94204. So, uh, ooh, EF sedan, that thing's actually pretty sick. So, oh, it's already skipping photos. Super mint interior, looks like he's got maybe a K-Tune shifter or uh, some sort of adjustable shifter. I uh, can't tell what wheels those are, but they look really mint on that car. The body panels look super straight. I mean, the paint looks a bit faded, but I mean, it looks really sick. Uh, OEM steering wheel, definitely don't see those nowadays, although I don't, I mean, that's, I don't know if that's that original steering wheel of the car, but uh, personally, to me, it doesn't really fit it, so I would get an aftermarket wheel if it was me. I'd get like a Momo or something, but uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty dang mint. I'm assuming it's probably his daily driver, and I mean, if he's, Got, he's got tinted windows, maybe it looks like he may even have like complete AC or something. Like if so, that's super sick too. Looks to be stock exhaust and I, the whole car itself just looks super mint. That's actually really sick. So let's see if he actually says anything on the car. Um, oh, submission for the vlog, 91 EF sedan. So uh, Benjamin, your car is sick. Like I have no gripes on it. It's not all stanced out. It's just nice and tucked and it, it looks really clean, dude, so props to you. All right, so next submission is from uh, B20 underscore turbo. So looks like he took a B20 out. He's got a DC Integra. Uh, I can't tell if that's an H or an F. I always get those confused because to me they look the same, but looks to be, I want to say an F, like an F22, but I mean, like I said, I'm, I, I get those confused, but it looks really not bad. I mean, it could use some paint and body. 
engine bay. Actually, engine. I like that purple. If that's spray paint, I mean, it's got a nice shine to it. Um, but as for the um, the body itself, I mean, maybe just a few dings and dents, but I think it'd look good with some fresh paint. Oh, okay, here it is. F20B, full QSD, uh, blah, 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 B16 trans, stage three clutch. Uh, if it's a daily and if it's uh, just a stock engine, I really don't see the point personally in having such a upgraded clutch. Um, I mean, I guess if you're beating the snot out of it, it probably would help in the long run, but I mean, I don't know, it just seems kind of overkill. Mild wire tuck, sick, painted, oh, okay, it's obvious, everything's done by himself, so like huge props to you because, I mean, that's a lot of work and that's a lot of skill that you've had to acquire. Um, uh, he's asking when the next Integra meet is because he's local. So, um, yeah, we have Integra meets for you guys. Uh, pretty much, it doesn't. we prefer it to be second gens because we're the AZ second gens, but if you just want to come hang out, it is every Saturday night, Tempe Town Lake Marina around 8.30 p.m. So we're usually there till. I used to take off around 10, 10.30, but everybody usually hangs out till 10.30 to sometimes midnight, you know? So uh, yeah, all in all, uh, your car is pretty sick, and I, I can't wait to see it in person, see what you've done to it. All right, so uh, next submission is from Dreams in Progress 209. So uh, he hit me up saying that he wanted me to check out his car for this little thing. And he said that my blue turd fitment, because uh, that's what my car used to be called, was the blue turd back then if you were newer to the channel. Um, if you go way back on my channel, you'll see my integrity used to be all stanced out and whatnot. And uh, it really was a blue turd, but I, I loved it. And it was nice to me. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, so he's got a DA. Um, looks pretty sick looks pretty much stock and obviously everybody's got to start somewhere NRG wheel uh, blah, 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 blah. it's got some wheels look like drag DR 16s maybe or DR 20s I think DR 20s I was getting confused um, personally I like the like the Japanese like JDM thing where people like X out the headlights with tape um, I had that on my fog lights before I, I just think it looks pretty cool um, but yeah I mean other than that the car looks stock it looks like it's obviously lowered and um, Got some, maybe a B20 I'm assuming, and he didn't say what's in it. But uh, yeah, it'll be nice to see the progress on that car. So if you guys don't follow him and you want to see a Dan Imbil, um, go check him out on Instagram, dreams underscore in underscore progress 209. And uh, I don't really have much to say about it. I like DA, so I like your car. All right, so this one, he, his name is uh, Steven Stevenson underscore on Instagram. And uh, his car, I remember he was like one of the first ones that sent me a DM for this little submission. And uh, this old school paint job right here, oh, it's backed out of it. Uh, this paint job that he got on the car originally, like a fighter pilot style, I think that looks really sick. I mean, a lot of people have their taste or whatever, and I wouldn't do it to my car personally, but I think that looks really freaking cool because, like, if you guys don't follow Divine Media, like his ruined soul, his whole interior is, like, painted after, like, an, uh, a bomber from World War II. Like, I think that's super sick. And then uh, he's got new pictures of his hatch now. Uh, looks like... Uh, fresh white paint uh, could use some wheels for sure I think wheels or cars look kind of silly when they're lowered on like stock wheels I mean again everybody has their tastes it's just my opinion but uh, other than that I mean the car looks super clean got the window visors got uh, I mean painted hood going for that carbon look I'm guessing but it's all good uh, yeah I mean car looks really clean uh, so yeah when you guys send me these uh, do try and include like detailed pictures of like engine and suspension stuff if you can um because that makes it more easy for me to have something to say about it he said the first photo is picked up is when he picked it up it's got a full makeover new motor uh new coils new suspension components short throw shifter and bushings getting traction bars and sway bars in the next few months so it sounds like you've got your uh, your car planned out for you i i'll be looking forward to seeing it so if you guys want to see it go give him a follow and um yeah i mean I think that's going to be the last of the submissions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little series and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of scatterbrained because I was just trying to get stuff done on the Integra, especially the stupid squeaking, um, and I have yet to figure it out. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. All activity on the videos helps to uh, push the videos out so I can hopefully make some money. And also again, uh, stickers are available. ChrisLadowski.BigCartel.com, big five bucks, two bucks shipped. And uh, yeah, uh, you guys, if you get them, send me pictures of them, um, that if whatever you put it on, and I'll be looking forward to that. Other than that, uh, next video, don't really know what's going on, but you know me, I just kind of go with the flow. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do lifestyle, like vlogging, I do a lot of skating, I do car stuff, um, and 
I don't know, hope you guys just stick around for the ride. So again, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. So just remember, do what you love, forget about the rest, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.